YouTube and welcome to another edition of NorCal Vapors Corner with me, April. Anyways, I do have lots of stuff, lots of stuff. If you guys were happening to watch uh, my live show with Raven last night, sorry if you were trying to comment. Um, I was taking comments off Twitter because I have not figured out how to get this stupid thing on YouTube to work. So if anybody knows, please tell me. And they have also disabled all mobile comments. Like, if I'm watching somebody's video on my phone, I can't comment on it. I know Mile High, Josh from Mile High Vaping is having the same problem, and so is uh, Raven from Vaping with Raven. So if any of you are having this problem, please, and know how to get around it, please let me know. Please, please, please. All right, lots of good stuff. Let's get through some vape mail. First, vape mail. If you guys also watched my live show last night, you would know that I got a bunch of vape wilds. Not a bunch, bunch, but enough. Because I did get um, <clears throat> this one is mine. I like that one. I think I don't know, but I did wind up doing this, like getting two different of each flavor of most of each flavor. The only one I did not duplicate was peanut butter. I didn't duplicate except for the one 10 mil, but I was going to use that for something because I didn't want to duplicate 10 mil bottles. But I did duplicate the 20 mils. So this is going to be for our next giveaway coming up. I have buttery nuts and on cloud of custard. I have not tried on cloud of custard. I have tried buttery nuts. And yes, I will be giving away some buttery nuts. Because I have an extra. I did that on purpose because they are pretty inexpensive and I do like um, their flavors a lot. I have yet to. Ew. I have yet to really run across very many I don't like. I didn't realize that RDA was in that bad of shape. Oops. Yeah, that's that's some sad shape, so I have to rebuild him. Sucky. Sucky, sucky, sucky. Anyways. So. But. See, I do like the way it tastes. Um, they do, I'm going to tell you right now, vape wild, unless you're getting their pre-steep juices. It takes them about a week to get to me. But I usually let them sit before I vape them. I've only had them for a couple days, you guys, so that's probably, I'm not busting them all open right now and vaping them because they do need to steep. Some of their flavors are amazing right out the bottle immediately. And others definitely benefit from steep time. They get rid of the... Um, some of the weird aftertastes from the liquids and stuff like that. So I can say that's delicious, but these are not what I have on deck for today. This is what I have in upcoming reviews as a bunch of Vape Wild. Um, and the the special, you're going to watch me do this right now because I know why I got that. <laughs> I got the extra 10 mil bottle so I could trade out the Vape Ford, the Vape It Ford in case I had something I hadn't tried. And this I have not tried, which is Summer Solstice. And it looks to be right up my alley. It looks like a nice citrusy, sunny vape. And this would be perfect for my weather right now. So, sorry, you're ass out. You get some cheesecake. I'm still vaping forward. I'm vaping a lot of shit forward. Trust that. Anyways, we already did these and these and this and... What else did I have? Ah, Tasty Clouds. I did not get to these at my last review. And then we'll be doing my special one-two pairing. See, MVP. MVP is a berry, a blueberry vanilla crumb cake with a dash of cinnamon, which I have yet to taste cinnamon. I've yet to taste blueberry. All I get is crumb cake. And you can't see because it's an amber bottle, but I've already you know, pretty much vaped the whole top of the bottle and I was dripping it. So I should have tasted something like cinnamon in there because I don't usually miss cinnamon, especially on a dripper. So let's get just the wicks, just a little bit. 
Mama Coil. There you go. Coils, I need to rebuild all my RDAs today, I think. Have a rebuild day. <laughs> rebuild day! Okay, at 27 watts, I get a little bit of a pop of a blueberry. But when I take it to where I prefer to vape, and you guys already know, I do all my reviews at 35 watts. And, um, even at 22 watts, this is where I had it, I get a little, the faintest, faintest pop of a blueberry, and, the crumb cake, I mean, the crumb cake is delicious. It really is. It, it's a good vape. I'm just not getting everything that the flavor says is in it. So, um, and that's just me, you guys. But my opinion is if I'm buying a multi-leveled juice, I should be able to get a pop of each flavor Maybe not a super huge pop, but they should be audible in my mouth. And those are not. The only audible note I really pick up, and it's a lot of it, because everything it hides everything else for me, is the crumb cake. The crumb, But it's still good. I still like it. I would still vape it. Would it be an all-day vape? No, because I'm not getting all the elements of the vape. That's just how it is. If I'm not getting all the elements and it says there's a bunch of elements in there, sorry. But... It is good. It is a crumb. It's a. I would say it's more of a crumb cake with. Um, you might get a hint of this or that, because uh, there is absolutely no cinnamon to it. I'm not even getting a cinnamony throat hit. So there's no cinnamon actually on it. Twenty four watts. I can taste the blueberry and the crumb cake. So, you can taste them. You might have to fluck with your wattage a little bit. Um, and have it go, try to figure out where it is. Some vapes are really, really very good and very succinct. And really knock it out of the park. And you don't have to fuck with anything to try to taste everything. Sorry, Tasty Clouds, you got some good juice. But you have to. I have to mess with my wattage way too much. Um... This would be great for somebody that vapes at low wattages, though, like somebody that uses a, uh, a tank. I'm going to tank these before I totally give up and make sure. I know I have um, tanked this one. This one I have vaped more of because I do get the strawberry and the banana, but I still, the banana, the strawberry taste isn't really there. I'm getting more sweet banana. And I had that in my tank. I don't have it in my tank now because I loaded it with Prestige last night. And that's almost half gone. And it's amazing. And it's on it's on my Angel E6 mod, which I will be doing an update review on. Because at first I had like been totally given up on it because I was really upset about the first one. And <clears throat> I have found with that, the DNA 50 clone, if you use something that has a .5 coil or higher... It actually is a good vape. It's a very good vape. It's not a true 33 watts, though. I could stick that same tank on this, bump it up to the exact same wattage, and I'm going to get way more vapor. Way more flavor, way more everything. Yeah, and you do get a little pop of each flavor at about 24 watts with this. It, at least I do. I have to... When I bump it to my preferred wattage, though, I don't get hardly anything else. So they are very light flavors. I mean, they're neither none is overwhelming. But if I bump it up to my normal 35 watts of where I vape at all the time... That was a dry it. It, um... <clears throat> uh, that's gross. Sorry. I'm not usually gagalicious. I usually cough, but that was disgusting. Anyways. 
let's move on to the goods. The goods is supposed to be a strawberry banana smoothie. And this one I do like a bit more than the other. Just on, I don't want to give it too much. Just oil, like, I mean, they do last pretty well. They're pretty good. I mean, are they my favorites out of everything I vaped? And I vaped a lot of juices, you guys. No. Yeah, I get barely any banana and a lot of that strawberry. And for some reason, you guys, me and strawberry do not like each other very much. I love real strawberries. I think it's because it does not taste like a real strawberry to me. Again, though, if I wanted to build a higher coil and or tank it, it is a pretty decent vape in the tank. Although the strawberry bothers me and I start like not wanting to vape. I start just looking at it going, eh. I, I, it took me a while to vape a tank of this. So this is also not an all day vape for me. But if you are into strawberry smoothies, you might want to give this a try. I have had a problem with Captain Crunch vape so far and strawberry vapes. So I'm still learning every, like, all the different flavors I really like. Strawberry banana smoothie sounded really good to me. I like banana vapes. I'm not too keen on strawberry vapes. I love strawberries. Not too keen on strawberry vapes. Are they good juices? Yes. For somebody that does not vape at higher wattages, like, I would recommend these to somebody that has just started out vaping. Because they are vaping at, um, usually a normal 3.7 volts and they're usually on their little ego pens and they usually are not you know bumping their freaking wattage up and getting all crazy and blowing clouds they're they're trying to get the you know something that helps them stay off cigarettes so what i suggest these to somebody that has just started vaping yes because it is a good beginner juice only because i say beginner if you're if you've been vaping for a long time and you like using your ego styles or even like using um, higher wattage tank or higher ohm tanks, um, you're not into sub ohming. Those would be great for you. Sub ohm people, careful. You might not like those because they they do mute out when you're sub. So just saying sometimes um it's like i haven't had to actually go above them to taste them but i have to go higher than my 3.5 to really get a good nice solid like well-rounded flavor and i have had um i've had plenty of flavors that are very succinct and very uh not very not super variant on the device or the um system i'm using so that's all I have to say about that. That was Tasty Clouds. I did purchase those from Mount Shasta Vapes in Mount Shasta, California. If you live in Mount Shasta, California, go check them out. It is really easy. Google them because you will find them. And I love their shop. I absolutely love their customer service. They are awesome in there. I don't like Tasty Clouds, but they also do um, carry EC blends. They carry the Tasty Clouds and... They are looking to get more juice flavors in. So if you guys are a new juice company and you're trying to get your juice into some shops, uh, why don't you go to Mount Shasta Vapes on Facebook? They are looking for new juices, so you might want to try and help them out and um, see if they would like a sample of your juice to try to get it in a shop somewhere. So with that, we're already at 14 minutes. Let's move on. Anyways, we have got... I'm going to do this in just a minute. This is, they're supposed to be the same kind of flavor. There's unicorn milk and unicorn love, cut wood, unicorn killer. We're gonna have a war in a minute. Yeah, bitches. Anyways, we're gonna have a war in a minute, these two, and I will let you know which one I think comes out on top gonna say I do I am in contact and I'm friends with this person that does not mean he's gonna win black cloud had that same issue but see black cloud doesn't care want to make sure people are not gonna get offended because it's subjective I don't give a 
if you get offended. He's pretty easy going though. I don't think he'll get offended if he doesn't make it to the top. Because I've been vaping those two. One, like, like I got this one first. So I started vaping this because I already know what this one tastes like. And I really like, I really like this one. That's why it's in a bigger bottle this time. And I have never tried this one. So I was like, ooh, ooh. And it's, I'll explain it when I get there. Anyways, let's move on. Sorry, guys. Kind of a little here and there. Been a little stressed out lately. A lot of stuff going on. That's why, like, everything has been really long because I feel like I haven't been doing anything justice. Um, everything has been very crazy lately. Let's get just a little bit on here. And this right here, you guys, I'm going to tell you, it does come with the, the tamper proof ring, the child safety caps. Um,. This is Ace of Spades Vapor, and this was just hand mixed for me like a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I pulled it out of the box. I, just, I got them like four days ago, and when I pulled them out of the box, it had been barely a week since he had hand mixed them for me, and it is amazing. I've never had a peanut butter vape. I've never had a peanut butter chocolate vape, and they are very good. I like it. It's very good. It tastes like I'm biting into a Reese's peanut butter cup almost. It really does. It tastes like I'm eating a peanut butter cup. It is amazing. Absolutely love it. If you want to check him out, you can get to him on Facebook. He is Ace of Spades E-Juice. His name is... Don Cordova, and you can get a hold of him on Facebook. I will make sure I put a link below. Um, just simply amazing. I raved about that juice last night, and I was like, I better freaking stick it in review, or people are going to get, you know, natives are going to get restless. People are going to get mad. All right. Anyways, excuse me. Oh, oh, before I forget. Because I will forget. Trust me. Well, I'm vaping that off my coils. This is some more vape mail. From Nickwood. These were sent to me for review. And. I got, I think I got like their entire drip line, which is amazing. I am very happy. I was not expecting this many juices, you guys, when I um, contacted them because I did buy three of their regular line and I was like, oh, I'll just get to the other ones, okay? I was not expecting an entire one of their lines. So I got six juices for review from Nickwood. If you have not had Nickwood, they sent me one that I actually bought and I absolutely am in love with. Ah, it's peach lemonade and I absolutely love it. I have done a review on it. I will brush over this one just because it is for dripping. So I will, 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 will brush over this one and see what I think more of my dripper because I did do the other one in a tank. I put it on my dripper. It was really good in my dripper and then I shoved it in a tank and it was amazing in a tank because those were the higher um, PGVGs. And this one is um, really yummy. But they're in sixes. I don't vape sixes. Ah, oh, son of a poo. Oh, these are going to kill me. But these are 3070. Yes, they, it is their drip line. They are formulated for dripping. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep any of these. But I will be able to vape them and review them, and then I can give you guys my opinions on them. And hopefully, I at least have a few that I can keep that I don't over drip. Because I find out that if I drip too much, because if I'm in a chain vape mood, I cannot vape six at all. It will make me sick as a dog. It will make me feel really, really ill to my stomach. Because I am at a three milligram. I am a three milligram vapor. 
But other than that, I thought that was amazingly cool. Thank you, Nickwood. I appreciate it. Um, I will be putting those in the review queue. Um, probably will start reviewing them in my next video because of the fact they are a sponsored review. So all the other stuff that you see here, I've purchased. So it's like when I get a sponsored review, it actually goes ahead of what my what I have purchased because of the fact they're waiting for that review to come out. Just saying, 20 minutes, getting too long, let's go. All right, we're gonna do this clash of the juices. Anyways, yeah, I'll figure out how to, I'll probably figure out how to like do an animation in there. That'd be pretty cool, huh? But I'm not that savvy with editing yet. Mm. Anyways, Clash of the Juices. We have got Unicorn Love, which is a berries and cream. And then we have Cutwood, which tastes to be like a berries and cream. If you give me a minute, I gotta get the profile. And I'm back, sorry. I had to get this. This is what I really like about Craft Avery. My last one, because I only got two, didn't come with these. I don't know why. But I absolutely love that they give you the profile cards um, from Craft Avery. This... Right here, Cutwood Unicorn Milk is manufactured by Cutwood. P PG VG ratio is 30 VG, 70, <laughs> 70 VG, 30 PG. Uh, let's see, primary flavor is berries, second is creams, custards, and vanillas. And see, they are supposed to be identical because that is also this one's flavor profile, which is Unicorn Love, okay? Um... And the flavor description is hearkening back to the innocent days of youth. This crowd favorite is a tribute to the childhood delicacy that is strawberry milk. Creamy and sweet. It is brewed with 100% natural strawberry extract. Which I can say that is almost spot on. Because let me get, um, I don't think it's going to taste good with peanut butter cups, so hold on. Ace of Spades Vapor, guys. <laughs> it's a good cloud producing juice. And I have my airflow <laughs> almost close. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, cut wood first. Cut wood. Because I can say, I already know what I'm saying about this juice. Because I vaped it. And this is the only strawberry vape so far. That I have found that is my friend. As I can definitely say that that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm lost on the milk part of it, like the custardy part, but it tastes like, <coughs> excuse me, jeez. I've had a tickle in my throat the last couple days, so sorry. Um, that reminds me of, like, just wet. Like, you just put a little bit of milk in a cup of strawberry quick. It's, like, wet quick. It's yummy. It's like, it's like what you used to do when you were a kid. You put more... Like, I know, I did. I uh, was a fat kid. So you put um, more in the bottom, so you had all the stuff, like, you went and stir it all the way, you get the color, the milk, you drink the milk, and then you eat the bottom. That's how I used to do it. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like, like, damp strawberry quick with, that's just been barely dampened with milk, but it's not dry. It's like, um, that pasty. I'm going to kick this up to my preferred wattage because I do know that that is where it tastes amazing. Cloud kicking son of a bitch. Yes, it is. Mm, that's really good. 
It really does taste like a strawberry milk. Now, unicorn love. It's supposed to be the same thing. <coughs> Except for it's not. But here. It's not exactly the same. They do not taste exactly the same. Because this one, I get more of a mixed berry. I don't get just a strawberry. And I get a more of a custardy, creamy. It's not a like a dry flavor. But guess what? Neither one of them wins because I like them both. So actually, they both win. Because this is really good because it really does taste like strawberry milk. And this is really good because it tastes like a berry yogurt. It is fucking amazing. Both of them are amazing juices. If you like Cutwood, you're probably going, yeah, that's right. If you love Unicorn Love, you're like, yeah, why did that one win? Why did that one win? Well, they both fucking won because I like them both. So, yeah, that's what I got to say about that. Anyways. Yes, guys, I know. But we've gone through vape mail, four juices, going on the fifth, and then we're out of here. Yes, I'm going to try. This is from Mama J's Flavor Shop. Remember, I mixed it the other day on my video when I was explaining her flavors. This is that Catlin cream that I mixed when I was live. I let it steep. I have not vaped it. So now you're going to get my first taste of Catlin cream. And this. Oh, it smells really good. Really good. That is amazing. It's like a lemon cream. It's freaking really good. Uh, the picture, um, the picture description was like, it looks like a flan, uh, but it is, does not taste like flan at all. Flan is a traditional Mexican caramel, um, like a pudding with caramelized sugar on top, and it is amazing because I love that. I've loved that. I've loved frutas and, and flan since I was a kid. They are amazing Mexican desserts. If you have not tried them, you are missing out. Just saying. And this cannot really compare to flan. Sorry. But it is a good, like, lemony kind of custard. It's very refreshing. It's like, if I've been vaping on something too fruity, I would definitely turn to this because I do like citrus vapes. And it does have a citrus hit with a creamy hit. It's like a Almost like a really creamy lemon ice cream almost. It's freaking amazing. And I love it. And it's good. And the, the blank juice I mixed from Mount Baker Vapor kicks fucking clouds. I'm telling you. Um, so if you're into big cloud kicking, go to Mount Baker. They have uh, budget juices that taste really good. I have a juice from them up for review shortly that I did get because I liked the Moo juice, so I got Blue Moo, and oh my god, it's amazing. Um, and I have a couple other blueberry vapes that are supposed to be similar, so we'll see who wins on those too. I like doing this juice on juice thing. It's pretty cool. Anyways, this is really good. It is amazing. Um, I, like I said, it's more of a refreshing lemon cream it is fucking good. It reminds me of like a lemon cream candy without the chocolate, just like the cream middle. Oh, it's good, good, good. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have an amazing Friday, a wonderful weekend. Freaking don't party too hard because Monday comes really fast. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember, whatever you freaking do today, if you're trying to stay off the icky sticks, Find your preferred setup, find a good liquid, and keep
keep vaping. Let's vape us out of here and say have a great day, and we'll see you again really soon, probably about Monday.